Welcome to the tutorial on how to perform the Houston Westlake procedure using the Brain Labs audiometry software. I'm not going to go through all of the components. If you'd like to know the components and the features of the Brain Labs audiometry, check out the tutorial on how to conduct the automated Becacy testing using Brain Labs audiometry software. So let's get right into it. We have this uh, participant XX. And we're going to change the audiometric procedure to the Houston Westlake. And we can display our stimuli. We're going to be doing a demonstration of using pure tones again. 500 millisecond duration with a 50 millisecond rise. And we can see that here plotted. Okay, for the Houston Westlake procedure though, what that is is it's a tester driven procedure which means that we're going to be presenting these stimuli out manually, but we still have to make the stimuli and start the session for each frequency. So we have the frequency listed here, and we're going to be changing the intensity using the dB step sizes of 2 dB for this procedure. You can change it to whatever you like. And then we're going to be using these four buttons when the participant raises their hand. So the task for the participant is to ask them to raise their hand when they hear the sound. So they'll be in the booth, you'll be on the other side, and you'll see them raise their hand. So how we start this is we make the stimuli, so that's going to be a thousand hertz. Again, if you want to just display it, it's a thousand hertz tone here, and it's going to be put on for 500 milliseconds. And then we click our start button. Now we're in testing session and we go ahead and hit play and participant raised their hand I heard that so we hit click and then we go down in this case normally clinical assessments is going to be going down 10 dB up 5 but we're using 2 dB steps here so we're gonna go down by 2 press play and that's another hit another hit Still heard that, down two. I did not hear that one, so I'm gonna put that as a miss. We'll go up two dB. Yeah, I think I heard that one, yep. So we go down two. Nope. Yeah, I heard that one. So now that we've got two ascending out of the three, we're going to store that and that stores it as threshold right there as well as on the audiogram here on the left and then we hit stop so we get our test time and that took 102 seconds a little longer because I had a lot of step sizes down so we can move from there to a different frequency so we go ahead and click on different frequency and we can see it shifted over to here and we now need to make the stimuli because currently it's still loaded up for a thousand so we go make stimuli to allow us to start here so we go ahead and start now I'm going to change this to 30 dB as a start intensity and then we go ahead and pr press play I heard that No, didn't hear that one. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep, I heard that one. So we hit store and then stop. So just a minute to take that threshold there at 14 dB. 
So let's go on and we'll do the 4000 hertz game make stimuli. I'm going to start at a level of 30 again. Press play. No, did not hear that one. Yep. So, heard it to ascending, stop, restore, and then stop. And so that was 4,000, and then we go back to our 500 hertz testing. Now you can do more frequencies, but for the research purposes, we were testing 5, 1,000 hertz, 2,000 hertz, and 4,000 hertz. So it's 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000 hertz. So we'll go back to our 500 hertz, make that stimulus, and again start at 30. Go ahead and click Start. Play. Heard that. Now you can put in foils here if you're doing standard audiometry practices. I'm, no, I'm the presenter and the participant, so I know the foil that would come. And uh, I was just talking there, I forgot where I was, we're at 10. I did not actually hear that, so that's actually a miss there. Um, Got to go up. Heard that. Okay, so two on the ascending, and we'll click on store, and then stop. And now we have the audiometric um, thresholds for 500, 1000, 2000, and 4000 hertz. And we can go on again and do right ear. If you have bone conduction set up, we can do um, air conduction, then switch to bone conduction, so you can get the bone conduction thresholds. And you can move on and do all the different types of stimuli that we have listed here. But that is a very short demonstration of how to perform the Houston Westlake procedure using Brain Lab audiometry software. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go and check out the other videos on automated Beccacy as well as how to do the calibration. All the best to you.